for joining me. This is Joseph from Joe's Transformer Toy Reviews. I have here a Triton Returns Legends Class Rewind figure. Um, this figure uh, retails for about $10. Uh, he's one of the second smallest size class. Uh, for the Titan Returns series, the Legends class consists of, so far, two different types of figures. Either cassette slash uh, tablet or uh, data device designs that can fit into uh, the chest compartment of either a Soundwave Leader class or Blaster Leader class uh, Transformer uh, Titan Returns character. Uh, so this right here, it turns into a uh, tablet. As you can see, a little hard to make out, um, but it is a tablet. It has a um, screen here on the stickers. It shows a uh, cellular signal in the top left, battery life in the top right, and has a cassette, cassette tape style uh, background on it. Um, in keeping with the data tablet motif, here is a uh, audio port. Uh, any set of earbuds will actually plug into it. There are no electronics in this toy, so no audio will actually come from it. But it's still a very nice detail. It's just a little tight. Um, Titan Returns also has started, uh, the figures coming with cards. Uh, this is the one for Rewind. I had the uh, other figures that did not, I don't have the card anymore. Uh, here's one for Rewind, uh, the nice graphic of him firing his cannon. And on the other side you have their statistics. It's hard to see what, uh, well, not as hard as it sounds. The four base um, stats are in strength, speed, intelligence, and firepower. So Rewind got a four for strength, two for speed, nine for intelligence, and four for firepower. For a size, I imagine that is fairly uh, impressive. Here is actually the storage for his weapon along the side of the device. So let's get started. We will start by removing this. Now, um, the cassette tapes in this line are actually what we call triple changers, which means they have three forms. Um, he has a form where he is a... Um, they seem to be in transport, a transport vehicle, a data tablet, and a robot or animal-based mode. Rewind here, um, removing his gun. And we're going to transform him into his vehicle mode. In this case, it would be a tank. I'm going to pull these gray parts back. I'm going to rotate it up. Putting the arms up here. And now they're going to form the top of the tank. Let's squeeze them together. Here are the treads. Here is the top portion to make up the tank. And here is the cannon. Can rotates up and down. Um, there are wheels on the bottom, three wheels in order to allow them to roll around, but it does not move in any other way. There are pegs at the top, four of them, to plug in uh, uh, headmasters. Uh, there's also, like, the front is a little bit on the open side. For the class of figure, this is a very well designed uh, mode. Simple. Uh, not much to it, but it's uh, still a very good design. Remove the cannon. Now, you can do split apart at the top. Rotate along the shoulders. Rotate the arms here at uh, the elbow. And move the arms down the shoulders. He's actually backwards. So we rotate the arms. Bring the legs down. Bring out the toes. Hold on the chest and bring up the head. And this is rewind. Here is him holding his gun. The gun's a little bit loose, but still fits very well. Nice, uh, almost delicate sized barrel. But uh, again, very well fitting. There's also a hole here to store the gun. Never been a fan of the keep the gun on the arm, but I mean, for what it's worth, it is a very well, still a very well placed spot. He 
does have weird proportions. The arms are larger than they should otherwise be, but that's just because of the transformation. Uh, his head rotates and moves up and down thanks to the transformation hinge. Arms are all over, like bending here, rotate here, rotates along the shoulders. Honestly, for his size class, I've never seen one that's quite this well uh, articulated, as we call it. Uh, his knees you know, rotate and add a ball joint, and toes move a little bit, and it helps turn the also on the ball joint. His waist does not move, but again, still, he has a lot of, definitely a lot of range of movement. Uh, so yes, uh, he is, again, $10 online. He is a relatively popular character thanks to the uh, comic book series by IDW. Uh, he does figure prominently in the More Than Meets the Eye series of comic books. So he may be a little bit difficult to find. But uh, honestly, he's uh, very well worth the effort. Oops. Very well worth the effort. Again, this is Rewind, the Autobot. Uh, he is of the Legends class for the Titans Return, first wave, and uh, definitely recommended for children or for adults. Although the gun is really thin, you may want to be careful. I'd recommend five or older um, as anything younger. I do not know if this would be a choking hazard, but I would not take the risk. Um, but nothing, while well, being a little bit loose in the head, as this wobbles a lot, We'll loosen the toes. There's nothing really else to I would I would worry about with this character, this toy. Um, so please let me know if there's any questions about this figure or any others I've reviewed in the past. Um, please go ahead and put uh, leave a comment. If you like this video, please subscribe. This is Joseph. Thank you very much for uh, watching, reading my uh, for staying for my review. Thank you.